and obviously shorthanded a little bit um, from a, a talent standpoint. Uh, you know, you, you got to come out and start fast, and to throw a pick six on our first drive it, it certainly uh, took the wind out of our sails. I thought our guy, we, you know, we didn't blink. We, we didn't, um, you know, it wasn't doomsday by by any stretch, but. Um, you know, I don't care who you are, but at this stage in our development of our program, we're certainly not good enough. I don't think anybody in the country is to come in this place against this team um, and and turn the ball over four times and think you're going to be in a game. You're you're not. How's that? How's Casey right now? I uh, don't know. Uh, obviously, significant enough for for him not to return to the game, but. Um, it would be premature for me, you know, without getting an MRI and all that to, to really comment. What do you think about club next tonight as a quarterback? Yeah, I, I, I think Cade's a, a star in the making. You know, I, I, I loved him in high school. I, I you know, my, my daughter graduated with him in, in high school, so I was at his high school graduation and the whole nine. So great kid, great family, and a, and a heck of a player. Uh, he, he's got a really, really bright future. Tom, at this point in the development of this program, what can you guys take out of this experience here? I know you go to Illinois. Well, yeah, I, I think there's there's a lot that can be taken, to be honest with you, on, on the positive side. We've we got a lot of guys um, that maybe in previous times might have uh, thrown in the towel and waited on the, the plane to get here. And we didn't. Uh, for the most part, there, there's still a few guys that are that are pretenders, and, and we've got to find them, we've got to expose them, and either convert them or or um, or move on from them. But for the most part, the, I know the scoreboard's not going to say it, and, and you know the objective is to win. But also, uh, whether you win or lose, you, you've got to evaluate the execution and. Um, I think there'll be a lot um, of positives to, to come from tonight. Did the team fuddled on the fall at midfield right before going into the locker room? Some of the Clemson fans, is that something you were aware of or you knew they were going to do? Oh, yeah. We, we, yeah, end, our, we end our pregame on, uh, yeah. In the middle of the Yeah, because we punt. We, yeah. we have a punt return and, yeah. So it was. You got home man away. Correct. Got yes, it. yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Yep. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right, guys. Frank, do you want to go ahead and this is uh, going in and out? You want me to go? Yeah. Coach, uh, obviously you're in a huge hole at halftime. Do you feel the guys came out the second half and at the very least competed hard and gave a good account of the final the final? I think for the most part, yes. And and that that's what we needed to see, you know. And, and I know the scoreboard is awful uh, and, and the way we look. Uh, for the first half, a lot of the first half was awful, um, and our, our guys responded for the most part. And we're, we're going to really do a good job of, of accentuating and, and promoting the guys that uh, upheld our, our standard and, and our culture, regardless of the scoreboard. And, and we'll, we'll also, you know, make sure that we point out the guys that, that didn't. And the mistakes early, whether it be turnovers or penalties. Yeah, that's been the the story of the last two games, and you know we, we're we're not in any place in any part of our program right now to to try to have to beat ourselves and beat an opponent, and um, you know we're we're, we're going to figure out a way. Um, you know, so very very early in the season to eliminate. Uh, the the issues that are plaguing ourselves and and not beat ourselves and, and worry about beating the opponent. All right, go ahead, guys. They're muted. Uh, I do. Yep. Late. Um, so, what was your biggest takeaway from this game? Um, uh, I I think the. Exposure, both both positive and negative, of of, of a lot of, the, if not all of our guys that played in the second half. I think, you know, I, I challenged our coaches after the game to grade that second half uh, 
harder than they've graded any any half of football in their life because that is um, where the uh, a young man's true colors really shine and uh, in, in times like that and for the most part I was really really happy at least watching from the sideline but uh, we, we've still got a few guys that we've, we've got to either convert somehow some way into doing it our way or, or we've, we've, we've got to move on. Well, I'm, I'm assuming you asked the status of, of Larry and Casey. Is that accurate? I, I, you, you were breaking up. Richard, please speak up, even if you have to shout. Well, it's, uh, he keeps breaking oh. up. Thompson, McCannon, Mobley, and... Thompson, McCannon, Mobley, and... Okay. Um, yeah, Casey, knee injury, uh, obviously significant enough for him not to return, but uh, we'll, we'll find out more. Larry has been dealing with an, an ankle injury and uh, wanted to play through it. Uh, we, our plan all along uh, was, was uh, not to use him tonight to, to hopefully get his ankle healed and, and ready to go. Uh, if not this week, then certainly for when we start conference play. Zuberry uh, hurt his shoulder. I, I don't know much more beyond that. Uh, and then uh, was there a fourth one? Uh, Co I, you know what? I, I do not have a, an update on, on Kobe. It happened so late, I, I haven't talked to the trainers yet. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach.